Yo, what is going on guys? Lottery Stocks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, today we are going to be going over AMC, GameStop, the S&P 500, and a couple other tickers. All I ask you guys to do, if you enjoy this video or take anything out of it, is to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment down below. Let's get into it. Alright, so we can start with the S&P 500, the overall stock market in general. This is what we use to represent it. Yesterday, I said we were looking for a touch on 407 or 397. And we did get the touch on 397 for the S&P 500, and it closed at about 398.21. Tomorrow, I'm going to be looking for at least 401 or a 404 bounce before seeing 390. I do think the SPY is going to continue in this bear trend at least until mid-September when they hopefully announce a 0.75 basis point rate hike or less i think the spy will rip then which will of course go over to amc gamestop and all of our other meme stocks and cause them to run hopefully or at least contribute to it but yeah that is what i'm looking for for the spy tomorrow i'm looking for the s p 500 to eventually come down to about 393 or 390 uh but first 401 or 404 rejection to be able to see one of those levels in my opinion now the next thing i wanted to touch on is gamestop so as many of you know that's been with the channel and we've been tracking this cycle on GameStop and it couldn't be playing out more perfectly to the T and I don't want to call out any more oh buy calls here buy calls there because I'm not sure when this thing is going to pop over the next couple days I'll give or take maybe two to two days to a week before this thing starts ripping all I know is that when GameStop does get this bounce it's going to be extremely aggressive and I think it will make new highs at least up to about $50 new relative highs before getting the massive run uh, that we're looking for. But essentially this bounce up to date until we get a next run up slash short squeeze would come to about September 23rd to September 26th. So what's interesting is what we've been tracking is 134 days long and the same cycle is playing out over here. If that tracks along, you will come out to late September, which of course we've been talking about with AMC and GameStop. AMC has a chance to move late September around the 28th, also late October and then January are the three time frames I see AMC having a chance to move now AMC is also playing out with a decent cycle that we've been tracking not too close not slightly to a T right unless we see a major dip uh, which I wouldn't want to see but essentially this is what we're tracking this is what we're looking at and overall it does still come out to the same time period as GameStop late September early October for a big move in AMC and again this cycle is tracking inverse to this cycle and so on and so forth so depending on what we see you could see uh, lower lows coming down to about six bucks or so um, that would be worst case scenario before rip or you could see another peak instead of a valley okay of course because it can play inverse all you have to take away from this is that late september is going to be when all of the action is taking place now i wanted to touch on mullen real quick m-u-l-n we never really talk about this stock but i wanted to talk about it real quick because i realized i've had some cycles drawn up uh, on this stock some old cycles and it's been playing through one now uh, and I think it's a time to play it now I'm not saying calls or puts because this is going to move very volatile in one way I think come late September as well with the other meme stocks this is either going to have an extremely volatile rip to the upside or to the downside all I know is this move in the cycle triggers a uh, volatility to come in you did see it play out inverse right here. You actually saw a major rip instead of a dip. So if you guys do want to take this risk, this is on the table for you. Now yesterday we did call out phase. We played calls. This thing was not in the most beautiful uh, little pennant that we had, but it did get a breakout and then kind of sold off. Only if I was only if I was able to sell a bit earlier, but I did come out on top with over 100% gain. So hopefully you guys did take that. Uh, as for the analysis side of things, I think that's pretty much going to settle it. If I were to give you a short term price action, I'm looking to end the week with AMC at least testing 10 bucks again. Uh, I think that would be a win for the whole meme stocks in general. I think AMC should pop up to test uh, $10 again. But Ape, real quick, I wanted to touch on Ape. This is staying right in the Fib retracement. I'm looking for a touch on 520 before a bounce. At least that's what I had laid out. And we actually did close at 520. We got. Uh, slaughtered towards the end of the day. I'm interested to see where Ape will go from here. It's either going to make new lows 
or take a decent bounce. So this is this is in my opinion a decent time to buy ape not financial advice but just looking at it from a technical perspective uh, this is pretty low but don't try and time the bottom all the time uh, of course it's just because everybody has passion in this stock so now for the numbers GameStop short interest around 20 percent according to fintel so it's probably a bit higher according to ortex which is like what i like to pay attention to uh fintel also says 17 percent on amc so it's more like probably 19. this is interesting there's no shares available to borrow apparently uh, on amc and if you go over to GameStop, there actually is 350,000 shares available to borrow with a 12% fee. Over here on GameStop, there's no shares available to borrow. Most recent fee was 20% fee. So this is looking interesting. I think AMC and GameStop are both extremely overdue for a bounce. So make sure to expect that coming into uh, September to slowly get them ramping up. Uh, overall, I'm looking forward to it. Short exempts are actually creeping up on AMC. They're creeping down on GameStop. But overall, guys, that is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this update video. I love you all. Make sure to get your 10 free stocks linked in the description. Let's get ready for September. Lottery Stocks out.